welcome. We're back again with the Dashing Dish segment, food that is delicious and created by none other than Katie Farrell. Welcome, Katie. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, we are always so glad to have you here. And we're going to be learning some new tricks of the trade, right, of cooking today. We're going to make things a little bit healthier. Okay, um, that sounds great. At Dashing great. Dish, I like to do things really simple, easy, minimal dishes, but more than anything, kind of sneaky healthy. So okay. if you kind of are like, I don't like to eat healthy, I don't like to eat salads and mm -hmm. dry chicken breasts, well, you'll love these recipes. Great. So um, today, since it's fall, yes. we are going to make some fall-inspired dishes. So okay, pumpkin. Oh, that's Who awesome. doesn't like pumpkin? I, I like pumpkin, and I like all the multiple uses we can make with pumpkin, so this will be great. And who doesn't love pumpkin pie for the holidays, oh, right? I, I, I like pumpkin pie. I like pumpkin pie <laughs> starting in September. I'm like, I don't even care if it's cold, I'm going to start to eat it. So here we have some mini pumpkin pies, okay. and how cute are these? These are adorable. So they're great to just kind of pick up even as an appetizer at a party for finger food or dessert. Yes. So um, today we're gonna have we're gonna make the filling in a blender. So All very right. simple. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna add some pumpkin puree. And that's just canned pumpkin. It's just canned okay. pumpkin. Awesome. It's the easy way to go. Greek yogurt. And that's plain Greek yogurt? Plain or Greek yogurt. What if you used vanilla? What would it be like? You could, but it's a little bit um, sweeter. It has sweetener in it. Oh. So it'll kind of throw off the recipe as far as gotcha. the sweetener goes. And it also, this is also a very good calorie, right? That's right. These are only 40 calories. <gasps> I love it. Per pumpkin pie. And okay. they have protein. Protein? Which protein from the Greek yogurt is okay. really good for keeping you satisfied. All so right. you could eat one of these and feel satisfied rather than something that's just full of sugar and has no protein, you'll feel pretty hungry after you've eaten it. You know, that happens a lot. Okay, now. And so here I'm adding some baking stevia. That's All one right. cup of baking stevia. And okay. then just some liquid egg whites. And you could okay. do uh, actual eggs where you crack them and you do the egg whites as well. Okay, but now this can is I ask you about the stevia? You can. Where do you find the stevia? Um, you can get it at any grocery store these days. It's very... Um, commonly found right next to sugar. Okay. So, um, and it's a natural sweetener, so it's better for you than, say, white sugar. Oh, all right. If you're not a huge fan of stevia or an alternative, a better option than just white sugar would be to do a sugar in the raw or a pure form of sugar so it's not actually bleached okay. because that's what white sugar is. Oh my so goodness. So very processed and not good for you. So if we buy some stevia, and it may not be baking, it might be in the drops or whatever, we can go to your book that you have or your website to find out how to convert it, that's correct? That's right. Correct. Awesome. And then while I'm blending this, I'll okay. have you do the little pie crust. And oh. these are just wonton wrappers. All right. You can get them next to the produce in any grocery store. Okay. You can go ahead and just pop those in there. All right. And I just put them in just like that. Yep, just okay. like that. Pretty I will easy. And I'll go yeah. ahead and blend it. Okay. okay. This is good. There, there you go. Easy. Oh my gosh, that's all it took to blend? Oh, Quick I, and simple. I'm not, I'm slow. I still <laughs> have several to make. And, mm -hmm. and as you're making those, yes. um, I'll just tell you, for the topping of this, you could leave them just as they are. You can okay. make them ahead of time, so it's all great right. for parties. Um, you can do some True Whip, which is just a natural form of Cool Whip, it's, or a whipped topping. Oh and gosh. it's um, much better for you, it's organic, and so you can go ahead and just top those with some whipped topping All right. and serve them to your guests. Oh my gosh, I've never heard Absolutely of True delicious. Whip. delicious. Okay, so now that I've put these in, what do you do next? So next, we'll just fill these up, and that's why I do it in a blender. I mean, how easy yes. is that? Oh my gosh. So you just kind of fill them up. And you sort of guess how, I mean, you just sort of do like a couple tablespoons, you yep. think? Yeah, and you, just so you can see where it just starts to kind of be filled up uh -huh. almost to the top. So then right. you would go ahead and fill this whole thing. Okay. You would bake them 350 for about 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Quick and simple. And then you add the um, topping to it as well. Yep. I'll just add it to that. So now, though, we have something else that you've tried. We do. We okay. have a pumpkin peanut butter dip. <gasps> and so oh. this is good as just, say, a yes. weekday snack. Right. Or just for your kids or to mm -hmm. have at home. Very simple to make. No okay. baking required. Great. So here we have some more pumpkin puree. All right. Okay. And you can add that to the bowl here. Does it matter how much? You just sort of... Uh, we have a half cup there. Okay. 
Awesome. And okay. then this is um, peanut flour, and I've used it in a few of my recipes. Hi. Basically, it just is the peanut butter with the the oils taken out. So it's high in protein and oh lower gosh. in calories than peanut butter. So you can add this whole thing. Okay. Right and to you the bowl. can probably get this in the peanut butter aisle at the grocery store? They do have it. And oh they have gosh. it in just different brands. So just look for a powdered peanut butter. Okay. And then we have some more baking stevia and I'll add that. All right, great. Half cup. And then we have some Greek yogurt. And there. just add that in. So it looks like this is what, a half a cup too? Uh, about a fourth oh, cup a fourth there. of a cup, okay. And then we have just a pinch of salt. Okay, you do the pinch, because okay. I don't know what would a pinch just would be. Just one pinch. All right, so that's a pinch. Just in between your fingers. Okay. And then this is pumpkin pie spice. So that's okay. just a blend of cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon, all of the spices that we're used to tasting in a pumpkin pie. And that's at the grocery store too. That's correct. Awesome. And so you can do a fourth teaspoon of that. Okay. And then all a right. half teaspoon of cinnamon there. Okay, and it doesn't matter if I'm sort of uh, over the top on that? Or? Nope. I okay. mean, that's the fun thing about doing something that's kind of a no-bake recipe. Right. You really can't go wrong. You can do it to taste. One thing you told me is, uh, like, if some people are more into organic, they can just go for, what, a step up in the when making this going with different kind of more pure cinnamon and spices and stuff like that that's right I always encourage people when it comes to eating healthy to start where you're at you know if mm -hmm. you are used to eating fast food and you know you you're baking with sugar and butter and white flour start where you're at maybe do a few swap outs. so take out the sugar and add baking mm -hmm. stevia take out the white flour and add oat flour or almond flour Okay. Um, so it's getting rid of those processed ingredients first. And then mm -hmm. once you do that, then you can start to do a little more pure where you start to have organic food. Oh. So, see, those are just and are baby steps to healthy, right? That's right. I wanted to try this. You, so you, you try that. Mm -hmm. And so you can add a little bit more Greek yogurt if you like it creamier. Mm. So it's kind of one of those recipes that you can adjust to your taste. This is really good. <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm talking with my mouth full, but this is delicious. Y'all will have to try these recipes. Go to ctvn.org to find out how you can get your own copy of this recipe or recipes today. It's pumpkin day. So glad you joined us, and thanks, Katie. Thanks for fun. having me. It's been fun.